All right, that's a pretty big title. As you can see, this is Hololive Error. I had known about this coming out for a while. I watched the, what's it, those old 360 degree videos when they came out, but I didn't really keep up with the anime. I haven't really been consuming a terrible amount of VTuber content lately, so I just saw that the spooky game came out and I thought it'd be kind of relaxing to play this, so here we are. I don't know what generations. It looks like they've gone through pretty much everyone, uh, except Yen, so such as that. Oh, I saw a little bit of a little bit of a breakdown there, but let's just go ahead and get started. I mean, checking this out, everything looks pretty decent. I mean, we need to play that in English, yeah? Chapter select gives me hope that this is going to be a somewhat lengthy game. So. Anyways, let's not draw out the point. WASD, control with the mouse, E to interact, skip to pause, tab for my inventory, Q for examine. I'm going to have to remember that one. And I'm going to have to turn the volume down because it's a bit loud there. Eh, we'll start with that. All right. Volume down for me anyhow. I don't think it actually affects... The, uh, the recording. Oh, whoops. あ、ごめん、ちょ。あ、ウォップス。清掃の名前だが、ここには不気味な言い伝えや事件が多く、界隈ではいわゆる岩口付きの町として知られている。実際に私の祖父も青ヶ見町で目撃されたのを最後に行
Okay, I can't crouch. Oh, more. Uh, excerpt from Grandfather's Documents. Tragic Incident. July 1946, approximately 10.10pm. 10, 10 a massive landslide devastated the town of Algami. It is believed that the heavy rains a few days earlier weakened the soil, causing the disaster. Numerous buildings in the vicinity collapsed as a result, causing at least 10 casualties. I don't know why I read this. Like, oh, causalities? Now. Oh boy, howdy. Are we in room 404? Ooh, creaky noise. Check that out. I was gonna come. Okay, that's mildly forgivable. I was gonna say we don't have a shower, but I suppose that there are public baths still. Yes. Hello. Oh, look at that. Scrawled note. It felt like someone's been watching me since yesterday. It gives me chills. It's because I visited that town. No, it can't be that. I must be imagining things. Yes, yes, hello. Oh, it took me there. Ooh, the graphics just got real bad. Okay, here's here's what I'm gonna do. I'll make this fair. I'm not gonna make any dumb comments about the talent until we see definitively who they are. Like, once anyone shows up with animal ears in the haunted school, it's fair game. Okay. Let's just let's just lay the ground framework right there. Oh, but what I wanted to say was that I'm actually pleasantly surprised. Ugh, this hallway is going to encroach on me, isn't it? Um, before I read this, I I actually am pretty satisfied with the premise of this game. Like, I dig the investigative report concept, so this stems from me enjoying movies like Neroi the Curse and Cult. I've been getting into ones recently. I think the director is like Takeshi Shimezu. I'm probably pronouncing his last name wrong, but... Apparently there's this kind of village series, so I started with Howling Village, and then most recently there was Suicide Forest Village, which was significantly better than any of the Western Suicide Forest movies, and there's one that came out this year called Oxhead Village, I think, so it's all in that vein of just, you know, horrible village in, <laughs> in Japan gets haunted, so I dig it. If we can run into Neo and we can do the really cool Shinto Priest Exorcism bonus points. All right. Algami High School Times issue number XX. Algami High School Times, winners of the 5th Algami High School or High Town Photography Contest announced. The 5th Algami High Town Photography Contest, this marks the 5th time that this contest has been held. Could you make that clear? I actually don't know what time this is. The winner of the grand prize this time is Mizuti, Mizuta Uzaki-san. No surprise, coming from a photography club member. Her winning pho photograph shows the Algami Station neighborhood at night. Feels like a different place than it is during the day. Okay, here we go. Terror, The Seven Mysteries of Algami High, Part 2. The rumor of the art prep room. For Part 2 of our series, on Algami High's Seven Mysteries, we're featuring the rumor of the art prep room. They say that a long time ago, a female student who was obsessed with painting something no one else could use, no one else could, used her own blood as paint. The moment she painted the last stroke was also the moment she drew her last breath. They say she still wanders the art prep room at night, searching for more paint. Perhaps she'll use you for paint next. Ooh. Y'all don't tell me that chick has rabbit ears. I swear. Can I zoom? Oh, nothing on the back. Oh, oh, oh. Right myself there. Wait, oh. Um, I wanted to see which one of them was the photograph of the station at night. I can't really tell. Well, that's okay. Why does this girl got carrots in her hair at school? Okay, I, I broke my promise. Oh, my, my disembodied arm. I wonder if this game is VR support. That would actually, I think, be decent in VR. Okay, so I've seen... Oh, nice. I can bump against that. Seen something like that from the game or the the YouTube videos at 360 view. Oh, but we walk so painfully slow. Like, can we get a move on, fella? 
Got places to be, scares to see. I promise that this does not mark my decline into starting <laughs> like a three random horror game series. As much as I love them, I promise that I will continue to play RPG Maker stuff predominantly. But hey, I, I would imagine that I'm going to get some of you viewers, so welcome. Otherwise, I'm just playing stuff made in RPG Maker or Wolf RPG, which I thought this was going to be something made in, but hey, Unity ain't bad. Can never go wrong with Unity. This is such a, a waste of dead space under those stairs. Well, it was worth a shot. So, a uh, ghost teleported us from minuscule hotel room to haunted high school. Wow, that zoomed me over there. Oh, whoops, I should have explored more, dang. Did I get a prompt? Nope, that was the, the glare. So am I supposed to be seeing something in these? I wonder what those are. See those black marks? Something got crossed out? Someone using charcoal as part of their, their art thesis? Don't mind me, just having a look around. Nice fire alarm. <laughs> We're not much in the way of features, and it's getting dark. Oh, someone's really burning the midnight oil here. Got some, some studious individuals in here. All right, I should, I should preface. I am recording this. July 23rd, 2022, and I have just seen Jordan Peele's Nope today. Oh wow, would you look at that? Nice, Seiko Quartz. Oh, I love a good Seiko clock. Now, I wanted to say this. Oh look, you can see my model shadow. See that thing moving at the bottom there? Okay, anyways, I wanted to say uh, potential longtime viewers know that the watch and clock thing is pretty strong on this channel. But I just, it's perfect that the time that the haunted art thing happens is 1010, which is supposedly the most optimal time to photograph a conventional clock or watch face. So people think it's because the hands are relatively out of the way, so you have any other. Uh, decorations or complications you can see them more easily or some people think that subconsciously this looks like a smiley face so it attracts you as a potential consumer and it's some kind of subliminal messaging but it's just so perfect that you could have a a stock clock image and have it work out to be the the scary time but that's your that's your horological lesson of the day as we wander through spooky high school now where did that come from have there always okay here we're gonna go up one oh no we're not gonna go up one more floor i'm gonna say where did where did that roll out from oh that is nice lighting i'm gonna be dramatically backlit let's mosey on in here i'm gonna spook the ghosts in the, in the classroom Something is going on in there. And it stopped. You know, actually... I cannot remember if this game has an epilepsy warning. It probably does. I know at the beginning they said that if you're not a, you know, strong constitution... Oh, hello. Uh, strong constitution hard to da, da, da That you shouldn't play this, but... Oh. She about a Naruto run down the hall. Well, I thought I was getting a directional sound clue, but I suppose not. Ah. 
I am actually here. I really hope that wasn't picking up. I had my little timer in the bottom there for uh, for Camtasia. We're kind of at this point. I was expecting, I don't know what I was expecting, but we're solidly 15-ish minutes in and not a terrible amount has happened. We seem to be doomed to walk the same halls, regrettably. I can't hear. Yo, I cannot hear. Here, maybe? Maybe I should be reading this out. Uh, we're talking about the scary room in the art room. Uh, decades back, in a second, I need to mentally prepare myself. Oh. Is it socially acceptable? Because they got like an elf, a fox girl, and like some future thingy from the future. It was really verbose of me. Hey, no swearing. It's a family friendly channel. Was everyone in that? in the dialogue in here, because I couldn't place who that was. Well, fascinating. Is this Four Seasons? Sp uh, no. Is it? Spring? No. Okay, I think that dialogue is just looping, so... We good. The shadow on this is just a little messed up, but let's go. Oh, sick! We gotta watch! Okay, I'm gonna look at this again. Oh, where? Oh, outside. Oh, I can't toggle the light. Bro, there's a fennec girl outside of my classroom. Can I? Ooh. Oh, I had a zoom! I was not paying attention to that. Okay, cool. Anyone get crossed out? Y'all still here? No clues? Okay. Whoa. Just amusing myself. Whomstiv. This is dumb, but we're gonna do it. Oh, oh. I don't think the flashlight does anything. You see this? So there she is, no lighting, theoretically. And this is about the same. See, look. My nice, floody beam pattern isn't illuminating her. Okay, well that was worth it. Oh, you dropped something. Thanks. Mysterious scrawled writing number one. Everyone died. It's all blank fall. And uh, so I blanked. I'm going to blank them. I'm going to blank them all. Boy, howdy. This is okay. Anyways, let me get a wrist roll, dude. Let's see what you got on. I got a nice 
side stitched strap of some kind. You know, you really accessorize in a place like this. It's got to be conventional watch. I'm not. I'm not inclined to think smartwatch on that one. Ah. Okay, that answered my question. There are clocks on the walls up here. That'll do it. Oh my god, I love fake video game Seiko so much. I think that probably is my favorite watch brand. And certainly the one I own the most of. This flashlight really doesn't do anything. That's a gripe of mine, I suppose, now. See, look. It's gone again. Oh, and I can't look at that because I got stupid glare from the light. So what have we know what have we learned so far? Let's nope, let's not recap. Okay. Landslide? See, this is why you need a good community emergency response team. It's rocky over here. About to encounter some Zubat up in here. Ah, was fine? Oh, I got turned around. Which direction am I supposed to be going? Towards the light, right? See, look, this light barely does anything. Well, all things shall return to Earth, I suppose. Can't go in there. Oh. See, you got, you got interesting, like, I guess, wavy hair? Is that the right description? Now that was a close one. That, that one almost clipped me through the wall. So you were dispersing, but from what? This actually scares me. Uh, I could have used some subtitles there. I'm sorry. Well, I guess I'll just get to move on. Uh, anyways, this scares me a little bit less because there is a non-zero possibility that a giant earthquake could hit the area where I normally work. So I'm more worried about that. But I'm a big e-prep guy, so emergency prep. What is the point of the tremors? Oh. Let me get a good look at you. Wish I could click the flashlight on and off. It'd be funny. Oh, you got a blank face. Oh. Dang, she got it. Got that serious crawl. Oh, I'll shut up. <laughs> Just a dream. Oh, my head. I'm doing it. I'm thinking. Okay. Okay, you got something in gunmetal. I see the your tang buckle there on your strap. Gunmetal case and gunmetal buckle or hardware. Oh, what's this? Bells? Aogami Chow de Toji Okota, Jikuzuri no Jikoni Tweete. Sofu no Nokosta Shidio Nyoruto. 当時の青神高校が甚大な被害を受けていたそうだ校舎はほぼ全壊で夜22時頃にもかかわらず 
亡くなった生徒も見つかったそうだそれから興味深いことに祖父の母はなんとその当時青神高校の生徒だったらしいあの事故がトラウマとなってしまったのかあまり当時の話をしてくれなかったそうだおそらく同級生を失ったショックからだろうその事件の直後に別の町へと引っ越したらしいがその後の詳細については資料に書かれておらずこれ以上は情報をつかむことができない祖父だけでなく青神町との意外なつながりが判明し私も驚いたものだ青神町の悲惨な事故そして青神町で噂される怪奇現象まだまだ調べる必要はありそうだ、cool. Furukawa. Dude, is that a fountain pen? Because you're not supposed to leave those uncapped. You're gonna let your nib go dry. Oh no! Ah, there was someone. Oh. Evening. Hey, TV. データイした梅雨前線の影響により大雨が降り青神町では大規模な土砂災害が発生しました現地の映像が届いておりますこちらは土砂崩れ発生直後の青神町で撮影された映像です土石流により青神高校が埋もれてしまっています県によりますと大
Now wait, this watch has drilled lugs. You can see it. And there's just not a terrible lot going on quite yet, so. Maybe I'll just jump into the price discussion. So this game was seven bucks. It was 54 for all the goodies, but 55 US dollars. 7 US dollars for the base game alone, which is what I paid. My my sweet, sweet hard-earned money going to cover court. Oh! Well, I can clip right through you, so I don't care. I wonder what the, the timing or the dating on a school like this would look like. There's just still, still some old ones that are still in service that have maintained, let's say, wood, wood trim and white walls. We were the monster all along. You know, come to think of it, we never did see the the art room in the previous level. For all the talk about, oh, the ghost of the art room's gonna get you at 10, 10 p.m., we never did quite make it there. Now, granted, we got hit by a landslide, but... You know. I was expecting uh, to actually investigate the scene of the crime. Maybe not a crime. To, to verify. Ah, oh, here comes some stuff. Uh, where? I jumped a little at that. I'll admit it. Not like a, a whole body jump, but a, a, little, a little jolt, you know? I felt something. That is a safety hazard. That could have killed me. I'm really going to have to speak to someone about building safety code here. Oh, you've been expecting me. Ooh, that was a little stroby. Actually, there's a light in my apartment complex that totally does that, and it sucks. No. You did not go for the pallet knife. I can only talk about how not afraid I am of these things. Oh, wait. Five. Uh, I'm gonna write that down. Why not? Ooh, these bolt action pens. Five. Pallet. Can't spell that knife. Cool. There might be a code here. I I can't tell if this is a puzzle game, but better safe than sorry. Also, that that's just not scary. I'm sorry. We had this discussion about Eve and being chased by Mary with a pallet knife. Like, oh, there's a lot of blood around here. Mm, the satisfying sound of flickering fluorescent lights. You know, maybe maybe I would have liked a a middle ground of this, where this is this is quite a lot of blood, but maybe in the last segment or the last hallway that we walk through, that is definitely not up to code. That is super unsafe. That is really unsafe. Jeez, who up in here throwing furniture? Oh, do you? Okay, 
But anyways, I could have used like one bloody handprint earlier. Take a, take a little bit of this blood and redirect it back in time. So what do you think of jump scares? Let me know in the comments down below. What are your thoughts? Do you like them? Your favorite is it your favorite aspect of horror? Oh wait, I'm probably supposed to go that way. There's definitely some lighting glitches going on here, and I always think that they're collectibles. Hmm. Both of these look like the road less traveled by, so. Whoops. Oh. This is nice. Also, my light appears to not be doing anything. What are these flowers? Are they... Is that a spider lily? Am I thinking the right thing? This dude, oh, that's this is Sora, yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's a Or she hit me with spell of migraine. <laughs> oh, we're really feeling it. That's that DOT damage over time. Oh, this one's really hurting. And who's this? Who is our, our little visitor friend, huh? Hoomstiv. I was gonna say, like, the visual scariness does not do anything to me, really. How shocking can the imagery be? But I don't like loud noises out of nothing, and that's the issue with this game, is that there is no... There's basically no noise. Like... If you hit, if someone like really threw themselves full force in that door, you probably see me do a little, you know, a little bit of that. So, that's my, that's just the way that I react to horror content, which is probably why I find it mildly cathartic. Where'd our hand go? Oh, 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 その噂は絵を追求した結果、自分の血を絵の具として書き続けた生徒が自死し、その後、その生徒の霊が真夜中の美術準備室を徘徊している、という話だ。実際にそのような生徒がいたかは定かではないが、当時の青神高校では有名な
please let me look at this. I can't rotate it. What's going on? Oh. Alright, I'm forced to look at it. Now I wasn't being mean. Pekora really has a carrot in her hair right there. Oh. Nice lighting glitch out there. Alright, fine. Let's go wade into the water. Now who's that? Oh, that's a man. Hey dude, you want some like water or something? You're real tall. He didn't want some water. I'll go back and check that out later, I think. Oh, we died. 404 not found. Oh, dearie me. Well, the significance of the time. We didn't see any of these girls. Oh, the story. I'll check that out. Yeah, like, we didn't see Mio. We didn't see, uh, who else? We saw Polka, I think. Oh, yeah, we didn't see Noelle and Flair. I think. Okay, bye. Oh, I like that. That's cool. That's a good way to do chapters. Let's click another st Oh! That's a link. Well, that just took me straight up to the, the anime series. Yeah, no. That's for later me. So there were more chapters. Oh, you were the you were the scary one. I cannot read you, unfortunately. Okay. Interesting premise, but We could definitely use a bit more. <laughs> no, am I supposed to, like... It said next time free yourself. Did that mean... Interact with something differently? So this is... A male student that, that got us last time? Because I saw from the bonus that there's a chapter 6. So, is this something to do with my actions here? Here, let's, let's give it a try. Aogami Koukou ni tsuite no shiyou ni kyoumi bukai naiyou no mono ga aru. どうやら青髪高校には学校の階段話の一つとして美術準備室の噂というものがあったようだ。その噂は絵を追求した結果、自分の血を絵の具として描き続けた生徒が自死し、その後その生徒の霊が真夜中の美術準備室を徘徊している
過去の青神町での事件の多さから似た何かしらの事件はあったのではないかと推察できる事実肝試しと称して夜の学校に訪れる生徒も多かったそうだそれ以上の資料が見つけられずこの件は調査保留とする Now, what if we don't look at that? What if I simply do not care? Is there something more here? What if I spam E? Okay, I can zoom in on this fool, but I can't. I can't break free? What he's doing around this. around these parts to get another ending, huh? Nee, so so, 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 This is probably the same spot as in if I see that guy, I'm going back to the main menu starting over. Oh, you were totally there. Let me out of here. I want out. Alright, we're... We have an inventory. I forgot about... Oh, this doesn't even do anything. All right, well, we are going back to the title screen and we are just gonna go again. I really... I failed to see what more we could do. Wow, each of those was a whole chapter. Like, even the little room segment counted as a chapter. And here, let's look here. Alright, what am I looking at? The, no, I'm not looking at the right thing. Oh, here's the creepy dude. Cool loafers, dude. Oxfords. That's the text log. Was it in here? Yeah, see, there's like chapter six and ending two. Actually, come to think of it, male spirit. Oh, that was literally it. There's only so there's only two endings to this game. Well, let's just go again. Not gonna read you anything, gonna be really impatient, so I don't know. Don't tell me. And the game just crashed. I'm gonna give it a little bit longer. Cause who Oh, 
All right. Well, that's that's okay. Well, cool. Now I gotta put something on the screen again. Life error. Oh, actually, now that we're here, we can look at the warnings. Can read those out for. Okay, frightening elements. Please refrain. You have a heart condition, can't handle it, uh, audio, yep. I am playing with headphones, yes indeed. Don't crash, I swear. Aogami-chou. <laughs> いわく付きの町として知られている。実際に私の祖父も青神町で目撃されたのを最後に行方不明となっている。当時、記者だった祖父はこの町で起こる会議について取材していたらしい。そんな祖父の影響もあり、私はオカルト雑誌の記者となった
It was that hallway with the really dark, bloody corridor or the sliding door. Dang it. Oh, shoot. Okay, so I can, never could have gone up here anyways, even before. I should have looked harder. Dang, okay. Well, now we're here. Is it worth? Oh. Oh no. Oh, I'm Oh, no. Okay, just to cut in here, I realize that in this segment, when you see all the spirits walk by. The classroom's cut back to the old wood, you see that? Because right now we're supposed to be in the modern environment. Let's see, check this. And now it goes back. So that was a detail I missed, that's cool. Hallway thoughts. If Algami High School is buried under a landslide, and the old one was superimposed over this... Oh, they walled me in. Uh, well, I can... I'll gesture at the walls. They walled us in. Um... Where are we, then? Because presumably, if the previous location was destroyed, then what exactly is the remodeled set that we're currently occupying? Asking the real hallway questions here. Hotel room thought. Why... Why does he have his eyes open before he sits upright in bed and gasps? Like, if you were waking up from a nightmare, you know, sleep paralysis, night terrors, etc. aside, would you not wake up at the same time as your vision reappeared? Because I feel like I'm not conscious until I can see. Even if it's dark, like, my eyes are open. But that happens simultaneously, and not before I sit up and go, oh, it's 7 o'clock. Gotta get up and watch the Arknights live stream today. Oh, look at that. Did you see that? That blood stain didn't move at all, but the door did. Oh, shoot. Got some. The real Hollow Live error was the graphics, apparently. Okay, so this was an ending split last time. Let's not do that. Let's go down the horrible, blood soaked hallway instead. Which is what I realized about five minutes too late after I made a dumb decision to delete all my save data and try to crash the game. So here we are. Plagiarized from good old John Wolf. We've left the. Red is scary. Red means scary area. Oh, my light went out. No, it didn't. It dimmed. See, look. It's still there. So this is what I mean about that useless flashlight. My iPhone could throw better than this. So this looks like an infinite hallway, too. Don't tell me we're about to be stuck endlessly wandering the halls of Algami High School while Tokino Sora's alias narrates my play. Scrawled text number two. No from a certain schoolgirl. You don't need to suffer like this anymore. It wasn't your fault. I know. I see you. Hold on. One thing at a time. I'm going to make sure nothing like that ever happens again in this town, which is why. Dang. Okay. Well, you're only going to show up while I'm reading. I think even with the second walkthrough of this, or run-through, I've, I've made up my mind about how much I appreciate the majority of the gameplay in this game. But no, 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 I'll, here, I'll be, I'll reserve judgment. Well, dang, they, you got the whole squad running. Well, this is gonna be chase. Isn't it? This is totally gonna be chase. Is it 
there gonna be a chase? I didn't even do anything. But yeah. I don't know. Maybe chapter 6 will be really good. Oh. I heard the tippity tap feats. Bye. Oh. Oh, that was the light. I was like, oh. An item. Ooh, this could be... The art room. Hey, that's my complaint taken care of. Excellent. Okay, so... No, I think we're still missing Noelle. I haven't seen her. I think. Dang, this room is tiny. Alright. Welcome to the world of Gertana. Wow. Oh, there goes Sora. Uh, my head hurts. What's happening to me? I'm painting, I paint, but everything comes out looking wrong. Is this truly the best I can do? Sorry, uh, I don't, I don't speak Japanese. How do you say English in Japanese, Eagle? Please? No, welcome to my world. It's painted with sadness. There's no light of sun. You can't hear any sound at all. See, that roof is freaking out. Well, here I'm waiting silently for you, father. Why were you so cruel to leave poor Mary alone? So you're going to have new dialogue for me then, I presume. Now your hand is bloody. Ooh. If we gotta do something, that implies action. <laughs> this dude is super delayed reaction, laying in bed like, Oh, five seconds, I had a nightmare. Oh, spell of mind green. Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. Is there a guy on the right? Yeah, no. Yeah, there's totally a guy there. Get out of here. I'm paying for this hotel room. What's popping in this dialogue? Is it new? Well, cool. Let me go. Please, let me go. Uh, no you don't. No way, let me out. What's a guy got to do around here to get another ending, huh?
Ooh, that's different. Okay, yeah, we might be on to something here. Wait, 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 shake your head. Come on. I cast Spell of Migraine. Ooh, do you see that? That was Sora there this time, instead of that one dude that I can't read the name of because I don't know Japanese. Anyhow, uh, I've slept on this, and thanks to the good people in the Hololive subreddit, I learned that the clip that you've seen immediately prior to me waking up here was doubling back after we had the one bloody room with the girl in the chair, and Sora sits in that chair instead. So this time, I've combined both going back to Sora in Chapter 2 in the Modern School, when she's standing in front of that red fire alarm panel, and picking up that note, doubling back and getting the note from Sora in the chair in the bloody room, and now we have a new document here, and, you know, Sora there-ish. So let's go ahead and get into it. Uh, report, Record of Grandfather's Investigation, Algami after the landslide. I decided to interview one of the survivors of the landslide who was a student at the time. According to her, the disaster prompted people to begin to leave the town of Algami. When I asked her why she decided to remain, she looked down and mumbled, because there's still something I need to do. She refused to elaborate beyond that, and the interview ended there. Cool, and I'm sure we've heard this already, about the, uh... Oh, something something students, right? Oh no, the, the ghost. We got to see. I'm going to talk over this guy because I've played this at least once since we were Now, if I had to sacrifice myself for art, I definitely would have painted something a little more meaningful and a little less creepy than what was in that room. Just the thought. I'm out of thoughts. Let's let this guy go. Why not? という話だ。実際にそのような生徒がいたかは定かではないが、当時の青神高校では有名な怪談話の一つであり、過去の青神町での事件の多さから似た何かしらの事件はあったのではないかと推察できる。事実、肝試しと称して。That dialogue changed. Because I think in the past he said that it was of no great significance. Alright, what's new in here? Okay, there's the picture jump scare. That was so, I guess, uh, obscure the first time this happened that I just like, oh, the, the jump scare noise and did not notice. Boom, gone again. Oh. Please, please don't strangle me this time. I assume I'm actually making real progress in the game. Oh, I gotta really stitch this video together and get it out, you know? Ooh, ooh, that was a, that was an abrupt cut. Also, yet yeah, sleeping on it, I've, ooh. Wait, we can do the little zoomy. Yeah, I'm still mildly in the process of waking up, but I really gotta get this video. Ooh, that one was a doozy. Did you see that? Like, got us in a circle. Now, why is my grandfather's investigation here? Let's see. As part of my investigation, I was able to interview a resident about the rumors surrounding the woods on the outskirts of Algami. The story starts two generations ago. Even back then, Algami was plagued by landslides, natural disasters, and other misfortunes. In response, the residents of the time performed ritual human sacrifice in the woods near Algami. Even today, Rumors proliferate about those woods, with people saying they hear screaming in the night or see ghosts wandering the area. Might those human sacrifices be the root cause of all the paranormal happenings in this town? Either way, I've decided to pay those woods a visit myself. Now, I'm not very uh, optimistic that we're going to get to go see the woods, but I would love to go see the woods. I wonder what the... Numerical range is 166 to 179 centimeters? Aha. Oh, 
y'all boarded me in. Oh wait, no, no you're not. Oh, they're, they're dead spacing us. We walk into one of those, we're dead. Unfortunately, I don't think we have stasis, so this could pose a significant challenge if we need to get them. I see something on the ground there. Ah, there's the artwork. Oh, goodbye. If it does it again, I'll make that combo. Oh. Be free. Ah. Uh, case, uh, cause of the supernatural phenomena, too. I haven't been feeling well since I started investigating the woods. For days on end, I've been racked by constant headaches. I can't think of any other explanation than those woods. Are the spirits of the people buried there taking vengeance on the living? Come to think of it, there's an old shrine in Algami. Maybe I'll find some clues there. It's worth looking into. Is that our kind of liminal space shrine that we go to? Ah, there was everyone else that I was asking about. Noel, Polka, etc. Don't do it, I swear. Now someone's gotta be sitting in there. Little baby chair over here. Oh, I can't clip through this one. Interesting. That was a visual assault. Ooh, my eyes. Okay, now we're back in modern times, or more modern times. どうして。ここはあなたの場所じゃない。Well, you, you can't tell me what to do. You brought me here. Presumably. What kind of spiritual hospitality is this? What dark over there? Uh, number three. I feel like my head's going to burst. Is that the shrine? Is that over... Th it makes... Oh, wait. Over... Th it must be... I see. It all makes sense now. It's the... I'll know me. So this is fate that who arrive the truth. I must contestigation these woods. I'm going to talk about that. When we hit the ending, because I have some thoughts about this game. Ooh. Oh, she got that. She got that side to side. Oh, I'm not controlling. Oh, look, it's ten ten. Oh, she's behind me, isn't she? Spooks? A 
なたはまだ気づけてないんだね。<笑>So I guess I haven't seen the anime, admittedly, and I assume it's good. It looks good. And they will gladly link you to it here by hitting another story. But what I had thought when I got when I went into playing this game was that it was supposed to be a different chapter, and so it was an independent experience of everything else that we had experienced from Hollow Live Error up until this point. And so I just felt like as a game, thinking of this as Discrete Unity, I think, horror game. It just wasn't quite there. And towards the end, I was getting a little bit hopeful that from the grandfather's notes, we'd get to go to the woods, the shrine, because I was really hoping for, especially with the, the context of landslides, to do a little like trekking around the woods or the ruins or the ghost town of Algami. But really, we, we played this game in the same. Four environments, right? The hotel room, the modern school, the kind of water, the watery shrine, and the old school. And that was pretty much it. And even then, within that, the sets were pretty limited. Like, it was a lot of looping hallways, quite, quite frankly. I didn't really get the impression that, you know, it was designed to be anything more than kind of a, a mildly spooky meet and greet. And I was a little disappointed by that. I was hoping for a bit more gameplay. Character walks pretty slow for being an investigative reporter, so that took us quite a while to actually trudge through all those environments. But I really hope that there's there's more to this because seven dollars asking price for an experience like this is really competitive in today's day and age with the advent of a lot of these indie Unity games and things on itch.io and whatnot. There's a lot of good stuff. Like I was. Without saying it, I haven't actually played anything by them, but Chilla's art, I, I've seen a lot of the games and I really enjoy the design of those, and I was hoping that this would kind of be like a, a budget homage to it, but that, even then it wasn't quite there, so. Now, looking online, it seems like people, I had verified this too before I started, that people had dug around in the game files, and there seems to be additional levels, potentially, that are built into this game but are not available to us right now, or people just haven't figured out how to get to them. And then somewhere else I read that there's going to be another version of this game coming out on Steam at some point, like a full version of the game, which to me, if that is true, I probably shouldn't have paid $7 for what is basically a demo, but I don't know. If if we get the, the woods trudging scene and the the shrine scene in the future, I'll be pleased with that, but yeah, overall I just, I felt like this experience was a little lackluster, because really, you have the talent of all the Hololive VTubers and actors, right, so it's not that, and the dialogue wasn't the strong suit of this game, the story itself is a little derivative, but, you know, the true talent wasn't really utilized, and graphically it just was not there either, so. Yeah, that was my my criticism of Hollow Live Error. I suppose I'll play it again if I get the outdoor scene that I so desperately crave, but I don't know, it was it was okay. I mean there's 
all the visuals in case you really needed, like, postcards of everyone. And, you know, quite frankly, who, we didn't even see... Who do we, we didn't see Okayu, we didn't see Korone, didn't see Mio. What's it? Didn't see Mel, didn't see Subaru. Pekora, Toa, uh, Kanata, Flair, Luna, Roboco, Marie. We didn't see most of the characters that were shown in these photographs, right? Because really, this band, potentially, I don't know, I didn't really notice if Noelle was there, but like, I, I know Polka and Botan were in the original group of people that had gotten trapped in the old school during the landslide, but like, I don't think any of the people in this image were affected by, or even this image, were affected by that, so... I don't really know what was going on there, so... It seems like there's there's quite a lot that they're going to build into this in the future if they continue it, so... I don't know, if we get a full one and it's not an absurd amount of money, I'll definitely check it out, but... Yeah, it's an okay experience. I don't know if I would really recommend it. I'll give it a, a hearty, lukewarm response from me for what that's worth, but... That's, that's pretty much it. We'll see what they can do in the next one, or if they do do a next one, so... I'll, I'll reserve judgment for there. But anyhow, we're wrapping it up here. This has been Hollow Live Error by Cover Corp. And so, thank you all for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and the game a bit more than I did, but I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day or night, depending on when you're watching this video. Take care, and be sure not to go paranormal investigating haunted schools in the middle of the night, and certainly don't listen to the VTuber that tells you to do things and knocks on your door and scares you. Words of wisdom to live by. <laughs>